Good afternoon, and I want to welcome everyone to this year's staff recognition ceremony. Uh, my name is Mike McAllister, and I'm happy to be hosting this event this year. I want to start with a few brief remarks to get us started. So 2021 marks the 30th time we've gathered together as colleagues to recognize the work that Belmont educators have done over the course of their careers. Now, in a year, we gathered together in the cafeteria of Belmont High School. We'd enjoyed desserts prepared by our food services team, and we'd present educators with a certificate, possibly a gift, and a, show, a physical show of our appreciation, a handshake, a pat on the back, or a hug. But just like last year's ceremony, we find that 2021 has been no normal year, and we regret we're not able to gather as we usually do to award educators as we have in the past. Still, during the year when the work of teaching and learning has, has to go on, it seems only appropriate that the ceremony goes on too. It will just look a little bit different. So the honoring can happen today, but the certificates, the gifts, and the hugs will have to wait. We gather today to celebrate those educators celebrating 10, 15, 20, and 25 years of service to the children of Belmont. Now that's no small feat. And after this year, especially in a year that probably feels like it should be worth two, these educators and all educators are worth celebrating even more. So maybe it's more appropriate to say we're celebrating 17, 22, 27, and 32 year milestones today as this school year could easily be counted in dog years. Uh, in total this afternoon, we're gonna celebrate 51 individual educators from all six schools who collectively had contributed a total of 770 years of educating Belmont's children. 770 years is 138,000 days of school. That's 3.3 million school lunches or lunch duty assignments. Uh, and that's more Google Meet sessions than we can even count. So these educators fill a lot of different roles. They're classroom teachers, they're professional aides, they're classroom assistants, they're specialists, they're leaders, they're administrative assistants, and they're members of the food service team. They work in a lot of different places. They work in cafeterias, in offices, in classrooms. They've worked for a lot of length, but whatever role they play, they all contribute to the larger mission of the Belmont Public Schools, which is educating children and preparing them for their future. So today we thank all of them for their contributions and especially for the length of their contributions to Belmont's children and their fam families. However you calculate it, it's an incredible amount of dedication, of service and effort. And so today we're fortunate to be able to stop, say thank you and celebrate all of you for your exceptional loyalty. To begin today's ceremony in earnest, I'll ask John Phelan, our superintendent of schools, to say a few words. Thank you, Mike. Um, very, very happy to be here uh, to honor all the faculty, staff, teachers, paraprofessionals, secretaries, food service folks, custodial facilities, uh, everybody uh, on the Belmont Public School staff being recognized for their long time contributions to thank you very much. Um, 10 years, 15 years, 20 and 25 is an amazing amount of time. Uh, and for whatever duration of time you're being recognized for today, we appreciate your efforts on behalf of, of your colleagues and the students that we serve in the community of Belmont. I wanna thank um, Meg Moriarty, our school committee member who will be here today supporting this event, as well as John Sullivan, um, educator at Belmont High and, and president of the BEA for his work as well. And, and thank all the uh, other folks that will support this work today to recognize you, uh, the very important uh, faculty and staff of the Belmont Public Schools. So thank you, as, as Mike said, uh, this one year is worth more than a few years. Um, it felt like we started school three times this year. So maybe we can count this year as three years. Um, so we all appreciate, we appreciate your longevity uh, and we wanna recognize you today. So John Sullivan, thank you for being here. And and you're up next. Good afternoon. It's my honor to uh, read the names of the educators who uh, are celebrating 10 year milestone of service to the students of the Belmont Public Schools. Jennifer Alger, Katie Crow, Patricia Duggan, Jeff Forty, Monica Frender, Maureen Galvin, Kristen Katchian, Krista Lazekia, Sarah Libertini, 
Lauren Mammon, Heidi Pasternak, Stephen Price, Joseph Reynolds, Stacy Ross, Judy Sarno, Tara Slattery, Michaela Vigarolo, and Chen Jitkika Vitel. I'll now turn it over to Meg Moriarty. Thank you, John. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Meg Moriarty, and um, I'm honored to be here on behalf of the school committee today to introduce the names of those Belmont educators who are celebrating the 15 year milestone of service to the children of Belmont. Um, so for 15 years of service, we have Ardo Asadorian, Gregory Bruce, Brian Carrero, Catherine Doyle, Earl Frazier, Robin Greenberg, Kenneth Kramer, Tracy Lockward Santiago, Ani Markarin, Michelle Markley, Catherine McCabe, Erin McCarthy, Adam Niles, Sarah Pearson, Mark Reynolds, Amanda Snow, Anthony Tobio, Donna Trelligan, Anne Walsh. And to read the names of those who have served for 20 years, I will pass it on to Janice Darius. Thank you, Meg. Um, good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure to an honor to introduce the names of those Belmont educators who are in 20 years, a 20 year milestone of service to the children of Belmont. Carmen Anderson. Martha Bloom. Ben Delorio. Colleen Foley. Cliff Gallant. Patty Harper. Andy McCauley. Shoba Reginald. and Andrew Roy. Thank you, Janice. Uh, I wanna thank Superintendent Phelan for his remarks. I wanna thank John Sullivan, Meg Moriarty for their help with today's ceremony. For those educators who are celebrating a 25 year milestone of service to the children of Belmont, we ask that their direct supervisors say a few brief words to honor their efforts over such a significant amount of time. So to begin with, we'll start with Isaac Taylor, principal of Belmont High School. So um, I, I'm starting with a recognition of Risa Karp. Um, Risa, I am so lucky to have been working with you over the past two years, um, uh, I, which is how long I've been here at Belmont High School. And um, the the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Risa is that she is a mentor. And Risa, you've really served as a mentor for me um, as I've stepped into this role here at BHS. Um, you are kind, um, and that means that you've told me what I've needed to know. You've um, wanted me to succeed, and um, you've uh, given me advice and guidance to help me to reach my goals. Um, in my role, and I know that you've had a lot of a lot to do with mentoring in your career here of new teachers. Um, it's my understanding that you started a program um, for second year teachers, a mentoring program, but it's clearly in your blood, um, and in the way that you interact with students. I don't know if if you'd consider yourself a social emotional teacher but that is absolutely how I see you as someone who cares for people, who wants them to do well, um, who clearly communicates expectations um, and who scaffolds um, and goes the extra mile for everyone 
for every student, for every person to make sure that they, um, they're able to succeed. One of the things that Risa did this year was to take on um, halfway through the year, the role of building rep um, uh, for, our, um, for our, our, our JLM, our Joint Labor Management um, Group, which has been meeting every week this year with all the changes and all the, um, all the adaptations we're having to make. Um, and I'd also like to really thank you for your leadership there, Risa, in this very challenging year of bringing people together, finding solutions, and, and figuring out how things are gonna work. And um, one of the things that strikes me most about you, apart from um, you being a mentor, is that you are a person who sees the big picture. Um, I don't know if that's because of your years of experience here or because that's who you are as a person, um, but that certainly comes across. And um, I'm really grateful for you, to you, for your ability in all situations, um, when, whether um, when we're thinking about um, big picture, um, um, big picture items in the school, or when you're um, sitting with your students and supporting them, I'm grateful that you can focus on the big picture um, and not get bogged down um, in everything else that's happening. So, so Risa, thank you for the impact you've had on me, on so many staff over the years here, and supporting them into the profession. And most importantly, for the students who you prioritize above everything else. Thank you, Isaac. Uh, I want to introduce uh, 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 Dustin O'Brien, the director of food services and nutrition, to say a few words about one of his colleagues who celebrated your milestone. Thank you, Mike. Uh, welcome to everyone who's joining us this afternoon. Today, I'm here to speak on one incredible individual, Jerry Frazier. First off, Gail and I would like to offer a warm congratulations to Jerry on her milestone accomplishment with the Food Services Department. Jerry has spent most of her 25 years serving as students at Wellington Elementary. She works alongside head cook Barbara Mahoney, who refers to Jerry as thoughtful, caring, and hardworking. Wellington is one of our busiest kitchens among the four elementaries, and Jerry always cares for our students with a, with a smile, even under her mask. This past year, I was lucky enough to have Jerry here at the high school to work on her meal pickup and delivery operation. I was able to get to work with her on a closer level and truly experience her kind demeanor firsthand. To keep things life, I would routinely post riddles on the expo board. I learned quickly not to be fooled by Jerry's calm persona as she often had them solved before I could finish writing them down. Head cooks of BHS and CMS, Teresa Vedette and Melissa Moran wanted to note how truly sad they were to see Jerry go back to the Wellington when students return to in-person. All of the above goes to show why Jerry is such a well-respected member of Wellington Elementary and a common thread in the kitchen's daily success. Her hard work will continue to benefit our community and the students and faculty of Wellington are lucky to have you. We are most grateful for your dedication and cheers to your 25th anniversary, Jerry. I will now send it back to Principal Taylor. Um, Gabby, it has been wonderful working with you over the past two years. Um, you are a teacher with energy, um, passion, you're kind, responsive, and student focused. And I've really enjoyed getting to know you and getting to see your approach with students. You are, you are a teacher who's all about equity. You're all about supporting all students and you're all about creating a culture where every person in the community is valued and deserves to be listened to. Um, one of the, um, one of the first, uh, or, um, when I first got to know you, um, it was because you scheduled a meeting with me to talk about diversity day and um, how you had been running that and where you wanted to go with diversity day. And um, one of the first meetings we had is where you had actually provided lunch for a range of um, a range of people to talk about how we might move things forward in the future, um, and I felt like that approach, where um, uh, staff were invited to a lunch and a conversation, 
um, where ideas were welcome. Um, it uh, sums up a lot of how you teach um, and how you teach adults and how you teach students. I know, um, I know how many students in the school are devoted to you um, and uh, show up in your classroom for chats. And um, I've been lucky enough to be able to come in when you are having conversations with students um, about their classes and about who they are as people and human beings. Um, you've taken on a number of roles in the school. I know that you for many years have been um, in charge of the GSA, the Gay Straight Alliance. And I really appreciate that work that you've done um, to support all of our students to feel safe, um, valued and respected and part of our school community. So thank you, Gabby, for being who you are. Thank you for valuing our students and our community above all else. And for, um, for valuing teaching and for thinking creatively about how you do your job and how you engage students um, with school um, and, and engage them in school in a way that lets them be themselves and lets them be who they are. Thank you, Isaac. Uh, to introduce uh, her colleague who will be celebrating your milestone, I'll ask Carla Coza, uh, the principal of the Chenery Middle School to say a few words about Denise LaPola. Thank you, so nice to be here. And it's such a pleasure to recognize Denise. Oh my goodness. So Denise LaPola is one of a kind. She was one of the first Chenery faculty members I met as a new administrator in Belmont and I immediately felt a connection with her. What I'm learning now is that Denise makes caring and authentic connections with everyone she interacts with. She's got the perspective of 25 years of experience with Belmont Public Schools with the zest for learning and growth for both herself, her students, and her colleagues. Her kindness, her sense of humor, and her deep passion to serve students is like a magnet, and it makes you want to do better so Denise can be proud of you. When asked recently, some of her colleagues pointed to her willingness to step up even when her plate is overflowing. I have no idea how Denise does all the things she does, and she does them beautifully. They remarked how she inspired others through her activism on behalf of her colleagues through BEA, as well as speaking and standing up for social justice. She is a mentor to so many, including me. Her patience and her calm demeanor under pressure. Hello, DC Trip. Uh, she is so valued. Beyond her reputation as a truly amazing educator, Denise is a valued friend. She listens, she cares, she's festive, and I'm learning she's a great shopper. This is news to me, and I'm hoping she puts me in her suitcase on her next travel adventure. As one of her colleagues wrote, Denise's loving spirit, kindness, and friendship hasn't faulted after 25 years of teaching. Belmont Public Schools is so lucky to have Denise LaPola as an educator among our ranks. We at Chenery are so grateful for her service, but more importantly, her true care of our community. And I just want to extend my huge congratulations to Denise, and I will hope she stays 25 more years with me. Congratulations, Denise. And I'm happy to give it back to Isaac Taylor for the final 25 year uh, ce celebrant of the day. John, um, you are a person who always makes time for me, even when I know that you have other stuff that you need to do. And from what I've heard, uh, that is the approach you take to every you take with everyone. Um, John, um, you are a teacher who is committed to the craft of teaching. And um, I feel very lucky that we have you here at Belmont High School, a person who believes in learning through seeing and doing, um, whether that's by um, uh, through sledding or cooking hot dogs with electricity or dropping um, eggs off the field house balcony. Um, you really want students to learn physics and um, it seems to me as though you've created an army of physics um, students out there who are really passionate about science. Um, in 25 years, you've had a number of roles at the school. Um, I hear you're the grandfather of a the AM staff sports. Um, and you've also been involved in a number of 
um, activities and clubs with, uh, for students, including being the NHS advisor for a number of years, um, a chess club advisor, um, and um, a, a boys soccer coach earlier in your career. You're also a, a person that makes people happy and makes people laugh. And um, I have been told this by a number of staff over the years that um, you are very, you are people focused. And um, so I uh, promised that I would um, give a couple of uh, uh, facts about you that might make people laugh now. Um, one is that I understand your goal is before you retire to get your grades in on time. Um, and I think that uh, my guess is that you're too busy serving the needs of other people and listening to people. But um, another is that um, um, you have the BHS record for advising the most clubs. And um, I think you're currently advising eight clubs. But thank you so much, John, for your people focused approach to the work for being creative about your teaching, loving what you do, and that rubs off on everyone around you. Thank you, Isaac, uh, again, for your kind words this time on behalf of John Losman. I wanna thank all the district, the school, and the union leaders for taking part in today's ceremony. I also wanna thank those members of the Belmont School Committee who were able to join us virtually today. Uh, additionally, I'd like to thank those Belmont educators who are live streaming the ceremony from home to watch your colleagues and friends celebrate such an important milestone of service. Before we finish, I wanna send a special thank you to Consuela Abresquita, Rebecca Lieb, Artemis Tingos from our central office, and Jeff Hansel from the Belmont Media Center for their help organizing today's event and moving what has been a traditionally an in-person event uh, into a virtual online format. Their work from behind the scenes, troubleshooting technology, communicating to everyone and keeping track of the tiniest details are both recognized and appreciated. So I thank, I thank all of you. Most of all, I wanna thank you and I wanna congratulate those educators who were honored today. Uh, we wish we could have honored you in person. We are thrilled you would join us virtually today. Uh, we honor your service and we look forward to celebrating your next milestone as a member of the Belmont Public Schools family. So thank you. This concludes today's staff recognition ceremony. Thanks everyone for coming and have a great rest of the day.